Thank you very much indeed, Mr. President. What did our committee actually uncover in this 18 months? We found that millions of legitimate jobs for our citizens have been lost, that billions of taxes are not being paid and are lost, how much our governments could appreciate those, that the losses are growing at maybe 15% year after year, and that organised crime kills many more people than terrorists do. So it's hugely serious. So what's being done? What do we find is being done? The answer is very, very little and far too little. Why? Because the member states are afraid of action and of sharing sovereignty to act together. For example, we discovered that very few of the containers that enter Europe by land, sea and air are ever opened or examined, perhaps a maximum of 5%. So in the containers, which are never even touched, come slaves, counterfeit goods, drugs, etc., all damaging our society. There are different laws in different member states and different practices because the member states won't work together. And in the absence of an FBI, which I firmly believe we shall have to create, and the sooner the better, I looked at the figures for my own member state of how much international cooperation there is. In the current year, Mr. President, my member state has been involved in precisely 12 joint investigation teams. The torrent of crime across Europe, and all London can do is organise 12 teams on different occasions this year. It's, it's shockingly bad. Now, Mr. President, final word. In the American Constitution, there's a famous phrase in which the President has to take action when he sees a clear and present danger. Well, in Europe, we face a major danger, but it's unclear and it's escalating fast. And what our citizens demand from the Commission, from the Parliament, the next Parliament, and the Member States is action, and action now.